Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today I start my barbecue grill and make a delicious steak for me and the children and some sausages. And now I just sit here and enjoy the fire and had time to talk. I give you the chance to ask me things that you want to know. And here are the questions and the answers. Let's start. While I make this video, um, I find out that there are so many questions that I want to answer that it is too much for one video. So I make two videos with your questions and my answers. So today we start with video one and then there will be a second one with the questions again. First question, Horacio Air Castillo. Have you a twin sister single? I had no twin sister. I have a twin sister, but she is in a relationship. Bill Mitchell. Why don't we ever see your husband anymore? And is he helping your work at the Fox Hut? So till now I work everything at the Fox Hut by myself. I had no help, only a small things. Um, but now I am at the point where I need help for repair the cabin. You see it in the videos. So, and you ask about my husband. So, I show so much from my privacy, from from my private living. And I think there is a point where I show enough. So I don't must to tell everything what happens in my life and what not. Um, you know so much details of my life and if I want to tell you more I do this and when not then not. Please respect this. Pete Stanhope. All right Monessa, I just have to ask this question. I know it's personal and we re really need to know. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? <laughs> I love ice cream and I love the different tastes. Um, I make the mistake that I um, taste most times only one or two, but I had to taste at every visit another ice cream um, flavor. So I love every fruit, um, strawberry or um, uh, citrus, I love every fruit flavor, but all the others too. Robert Adelsberger. If you could spend one hour with anyone in the world at any time in history, who would it be and why? So I'm not sure if I understand your question right. If it is, um, if it makes no matter which person or you mean an history person. So if you mean a history person, it would be interested to meet Stauffenberg. He wants to um, attack Hitler. I think it is a very special person. Joseph D'Angelo. I knew that you were expecting when I saw the fixing in the wall video at the cabin. And I'm thinking maybe you're about five months along. So my question, how many months are you? So you want to know if I am pregnant or not and how many months? I will tell you the answer for this question later. Zaire Bashir, if you had to leave your farmhouse in an emergency situation. What 10 items would you take with you to your cabin or bug out location? This is a very, very um, good question. I have a bug out backpack where I have important things to stay alive. And there are more than 10 items in it. 
So I would um, I would take my buggered backpack. My emergency backpack. George Heidrich, what is your favorite holiday to celebrate outdoors and what do you do? So we had here in Germany very much holidays. We had um, Fasching where everyone um, is in a mask. Then we had Easter, we had early summer, we had late summer, we had fall and we had winter holidays. <laughs> and um, of course I am a summer child, I love the summer. So I think summer is my favorite holiday but I also love the winter time, Christmas time, spend time with the family, go slow and um, the family meetings so those two are my favorite holidays. Mike Outdoors um, What would be your three favorite luxury items to take with you on an overnighter? Um, I love my saw because I can work with the saw very fast. I love my knife because I can do many things with the knife. And I love my flashlight. I don't like it when it is everything dark around and I had no chance to see anything if I want to see it. Catherine Nicola Nicholas. I'd love to hear about your future plans for your cabin, but I'm also very interested in your homestead plans at your daily residence. So my future plans are to repair the cabin completely. I had to repair the wall and the roof. And then I need something to save water. I need a toilet cabin and everything else is luxury so I want to have a small garden I want to have a playhouse for the children built with natural materials and a lot more and at my home so I have a very old home it is really really old and I had to repair a lot on it and make some things new like the bathroom it is in a very bad condition and I had to repair a lot but this cost much money, so I had to do everything slowly and um, piece for piece. This is what I want to do here and also the garden. I changed so much in the garden, plant new trees and other plants. And um, yeah, there is always something to do. Sean Enigans. My question is how many children would you like to have? Are big families common in Bavaria? So the most families here in Germany have one or two children. Um, every po person that had more children is from the most part respected, but some people look like you are strange if you have more children than two. But for me it is absolutely okay to have a big family um, I grew up with two siblings, a brother and a sister, and I love to have um, sister and brother. So, yeah, three, I think three are perfect. Hopefully someone will ask the question that I don't have enough nerve to ask. So, Robert, I'm sure you want to ask if I am pregnant or not. I tell it to you later. Troll Twees. I want to know if we have another income search or are you a full-time content creator? So my biggest job is YouTube. I do professional um, YouTube and um, this is my full-time job but I, but I had two second uh, to another I had two other jobs I work in the school I make the homework with the children um, when the people when the uh, parents have to work 
and I am a writer um, for a survival magazine. Bruno Sauer says, I wanted to know more about your experience with adventures and the same time with your family. Is it easy for you? So I think you want to know if it is easy to handle the job, YouTube and the adventures and the family. It is not every time easy but I try to handle it um, that I have a balance between work and family and I had an exactly plan for every day so um, uh, it is it is okay but not every time easy. Kit Owen Smith what is your advice for someone new to bushcraft? How should they start? Um, I make a video about this question for me it is always important that the people start slowly the most people want everything want to have everything at the beginning of the new hobby but they had to start piece for piece slowly spend on day outdoors at another day make on fire outdoors then spend some evening hours in the forest and then the first overnighter so step by step this is the important stuff and don't buy at the beginning so much expensive stuff but maybe you find out that bushcraft isn't the right hobby for you and then you had spent so much money and you don't ever never ever need the stuff again Keith Winslet want to know how and why I start doing bushcraft. So I grew up very close to the nature. My parents teach me a lot and they often with me in the nature. I lived uh, one part of my childhood in the mountains of Italy. So there is only nature around and we play as the, chil as the children the whole day outside. And when I grow up, I do always um, wild camping and at the beginning I had so much stuff with, with me. I really make camping. I had everything that I also had at home with me and this is too much. So I always had a car in the near area and then only put the stuff out of the car and make the camp. And um, this was too much for me, so I look what I can leave at home, which equipment I don't really need. And then I changed everything slowly. It was a process for a long time. I leave uh, equipment at home, buy ex equipment what is more expensive and with a higher quality, and then I slowly had the process to start with bushcraft. So go out with only a few equipment and back to the roots, um, the old way to make fire and this all. But I, it was a really long way from camping till bushcraft. Tattoo Stephen Neo. Why do some people get mad when you show your body in the wilderness, like when you bath, etc.? It seems to me some people don't like baths. Yeah, some people write me that I do only clickbait, but this is not true. I look that I always have a content in my videos that I always um, tell about what I know. I want to teach the people something and learn them maybe something new. When it is only one part or two um, with new information they don't hear before, it is absolutely this what I want. I want to teach something, show something, bring the people closer to the nature. And um, for me it is okay to show the body. It is not only the sex cells area 
of course um, videos where I show something are had more clicks but this is not um, this what I want I only want to show the natural life and for me it is not a bad thing to show the body I had always um, clothes on or um, the viewers can't see anything what uh, yeah what not the whole world should see Tom Goenin I'm not sure if I tell your um, if I speak your second name right so when not sorry you seem to be handling the quarantine very well but how are the children handling it at some point it must be frustrating actually I feel not really on difference so of course there is very much what is not like normal life but for the children it is everyday life because I always show that I don't bring them so much to the kindergarten because they prefer to stay at home and prefer to spend time with me so um, we had five days kindergarten where I pay for it but they are mostly only two or three days at the week in the kindergarten so um, they play the whole day here at home in the garden or we go in the, into the forest they don't really feel the difference um, when I had to go to the supermarket I don't put them with me so this is one point where they um, feel the difference and I tell them what happens actually in the world. The bigger one is five years old and he understand it. The smaller one with three years old don't really understand what happened um, actually. And um, they love to play with other children, but it is not so important if they, if they cannot do this at the moment. So they handle it very well. Paul Wolf had the same question, but not expertly um, for the children. You look like you're handling the quarantine very well. So this is what I tell you in the question before. For me, there are only um, a few different than the normal life before. Um, I spent a lot of time alone. Of course, I do also meet my friends. But um, I am a person that enjoy the, the silence, so I am not so often in public, so I don't feel a big difference. Robert Armemann, do you take care of both places? Is the cabin just a weekend getaway? Are you buying the cabin or renting it? So start with the last question. I rent the cabin. I don't buy it because it is not so easy. We had a lot of rules here in Germany. I'm sure you know it and um, it's not so easy to buy only one part um, from the forest. So I rent it, but I rent it for many years. So it is okay for me to um, to leave money at the cabin because I know I had something from it for many years and yeah I take care of both places I had the farmhouse and I had the cabin I don't um, really have weekends because I, I work when I want to work only at the school my second job I had um, fixed days where I have to work and everything else I can do when I want to do it. So um, I, I can go out to the cabin whenever I want and I spend a lot of time there but um, it is only in the last weeks really be cozy and comfortable so the full time where I spend there is coming now. Ron Dixon his wife is asking at 
the last video if I was expecting something. I will tell you the answer later. Piri 5050. I enjoy all your videos and I admi admire your skills. You have two awesome boys. I enjoy the Abandoned Places videos. Will you still do bushcraft now that you have the cabin? Yes, the cabin is only a second home for me. And it is good to have a base camp in the middle of the forest. So um, in the future I will often start my trips from the cabin because I can leave there some stuff and um, I can park my car um, there at the um, end of the forest because you know I can't drive into the forest for the cabin because there is no way but um, it is for me like a second home of course I will show you the cabin also in the future but I don't want to make only videos about the cabin Stevie Price, is there any way to help you with money? I see you have a PayPal link. Is there also another way? And what do you do with the money? Um, at the moment, I have only the way to help me with via PayPal. Um, I do not uh, drive into the holidays with this money. This is only, I had one part where I have um, all the help for you with PayPal that I use only for my videos. So this included camera equipment to have better camera equipment for better videos. I buy a new camera and um, I had to repair it in the past now um, two times and I had to bring it uh, to the store now um, again so I, I am not really happy with it and of course if I need to buy something for the cabin I also use this money so I am very happy and very grateful is grateful the white world now thankful the thankful I am very thankful for this donations at PayPal because you help me with this to make better videos and new videos for you but you don't have to do it if you have the chance to do it and you want to do it um, I'm thankful for it but um, it doesn't mean that everyone had to spend some money through PayPal but if you want the link is under every video in the video description so um, feel free to do it but you don't have to do it but if you want to do it, thank you. Alan Williamson, what got you interested in bushcraft and what's your favorite book that you've read? Any favorite childhood memories? Um, we had the question before. I had the protest from camping through bushcraft. My favorite book, um, I always want to learn something new, so I, uh, lead, I, I read thousands of books in my life. I had hundreds of books in my home from all different um, teams, so about self-sufficiency, about wild plants, about medicine, about being a parent, um, books only to to um, stay in another story. I love stories about the past, but I don't have the one special books because I have so many books that I love. Um, and favorite childhood memories. So I always loved the time when we were at our house in the mountains of Italy and can play the whole day outdoors in the, f in the forest. It was great. Tricky boy, do you heard all comments? Who reading them? Only I read the comments and only I give you the herbs. I know there is um, a way to let this work 
do from other people and uh, you pay for this but this isn't the right way I think so so at the beginning it was much more easier for me to read the comments and answer the comments but now I have with both channels the German channel and the English channel so many subscribers that I can't give everyone an answer I would love to do it but um, then I would um, spend two, di two days at a week only at the computer um, so this makes me a little bit sad that I can't um, answer every one of you and can't answer every comment and email and message to Facebook, um, Instagram and YouTube but um, I read everything so when I read it I press at the heart bottom and then you can be sure that I read it so thank you for all your help and all your comments um, I had such a lovely community, but uh, I'm sorry, I can't answer every one of you. Dennis Goethe, do you have receipts for borscht and potato kugel? I miss the meals my mom and Oma used to make. Um, I'm sorry, I don't really know what you mean with this receipts. So uh, maybe you can... Um, find some more words about the receipt and then I can maybe help you. Christian M. Blitsch have more questions. First question, do you ever plan to travel outside of Bavaria to make videos? Yeah, Bavaria is a beautiful country. Um, normally we don't have to travel everywhere outside of Bavaria because we had everything. We had big seas, uh, big, big lakes, the mountains, everything is green here around. We had a very special and beautiful part of the world. But of course I want to, so I want to see other places in the world. Um, when you make survival I think it is important that you travel to other places at the world because when you are in your area from the home country you know what you find there you know how the weather is what you find to eat and um, everything else and maybe when I travel to um, an island and tropical island it would be complete complete different uh, complete difference to my home country and then I can learn more and um, have more skills in other areas um, but in, now in the moment for me it is not really impossible to um, to drive around in the world because my children are small and I don't want to leave them for a longer time but in the future why not the next question from you is you are wondering what genre of mu mu music do you listen I had no special music kind I don't like German country music <laughs> I don't like pop music but I love um, uh, I love rock um, I love the band Rolling Stones and I love reggae, so it is a mix of everything. Um, yes, my f I don't have really a favorite musician, so I hear a lot of different bands and musicians. So at this part I make a break. This was part one from the question and answer videos. It was so many questions. <laughs> don't be worried when I don't um, read your question yet. It will be at the part two video. So thank you for watching. It was really funny to give you the answers and we see us again at the next video. Bye bye.